Yeah, it's on. Okay. I think. Imagine the unthinkable happens. Your spouse of 17 years drops to the floor in a heart attack. Panic, confusion is everywhere. You, your spouse, you call 911. You take your spouse uh, to the hospital. You gather your three kids. You follow the ambulance to the hospital. As you're driving there, you're worried about your spouse, the person you love, the person you've made a family with. Is this person going to be okay? The parent of your children. When you get to the hospital, the doctor says you can't see your spouse, but not for any medical reason. See, although you consider this person to be your spouse, after all, you've made the same commitments as any other married person, you have raised a family together. You pledge to be there in sickness and in health. Although you consider this person to be your spouse, the laws of your state do not. At, uh, at this moment, as your partner of 17 years slips into a coma, you plead with the hospital staff to let you see them. After eight hours of this, you're finally admitted, but when you get there, the priest is performing the last rites. Imagine the unthinkable. Unfortunately for a woman in Florida, this was not unthinkable in 2007. Gay people should have the right to marry and all the benefits that come with marriage. To me, this is a moral issue. I see this as the modern day civil rights issue of our time. Uh, and to others, it's a legal issue, one founded in equality. So today I'd like to talk about the moral and the legal sides of this issue. First, in terms of the moral issue, I want to begin by saying, what's the big deal? <laughs> Why is it a problem for two people, responsible adults who love each other, to marry and raise a family? Perhaps it's because marriage is only for procreation, but we allow infertile and the elderly to marry. Maybe it's because same-sex relationships are not good for the kids. There have been no conclusive studies showing this, and furthermore, we allow murderers and child molesters to marry and procreate. Maybe it's because marriage is traditionally a heterosexual institution. Slavery was a traditional institution, too. Is it because, is it because that same-sex marriage would threaten our institution of marriage, maybe it would lead to legalized incest or polygamy. This year, Denmark celebrated 20 years worth of legalized same-sex marriage. None of these things have happened. Also, it's interesting to me that the claim would be we would threaten marriage by allowing more people to marry. In the end, uh, I don't think opposition to gay marriage is based on rational, secular reasons. It seems to me to be a socialized response against a minority. So those are the moral things. Now legally, two recent cases by the Supreme Court suggest that bans on gay marriage will be unconstitutional. Romer v. Evans and Lawrence v. Texas. The important thing about both of these cases is that they were both analyzed under a rational basis test. Uh, and what, the, what that means, and, and both of those cases struck down anti-gay laws, essentially saying that Moral, pure moral opposition is not a legitimate state interest. Therefore, I think that any, any ban on gay marriage is going to be unconstitutional uh, because there can be no legitimate state interest with pure moral opposition. In fact, in his dissent in Lawrence, Justice Scalia even said that that opinion specifically swings the door wide open to allow gay marriage. This is an important issue to many people, gays and straight alike. The Government Accountability Office estimates that when you marry, the federal government gives you 1,100 plus rights and protections. Why are these only for straight people? If you're interested in this issue, by the way, um, there are two groups at the law school. Well, there's one group at the law school and another group I'd like to point you to. Uh, Lambda Law Alliance is a, um, you can be either in the LGBT community or an ally, that's available here. Um, the other thing is if you're interested in it as a Virginia political issue, uh, there's, a, there's a group called Equality Virginia that you might want to look into. Thanks.